Hi guys, welcome to Who's Junction. Vlad here. Today we're talking about this season and who has the most likely chance to average a triple-double in the NBA season this season. Now, this is going to be a crazy thing because we're talking about the first triple-double to be averaged the whole entire season since Oscar Robertson. And let me get this clear. A lot of people think Oscar Robertson averaged a triple-double only one season. That's false. He averaged triple double multiple seasons. It's just back in the day they didn't they never round it up. Nowadays they round things up. So if you had like nine point five assists, they'd say okay you're averaging about ten assists. So back in the day, Oscar had multiple seasons where he had like nine point eight assists, nine point six rebounds, but they never just they never rounded it up. He had like three seasons or four seasons straight averaging triple double. But the candidates are let's go, LeBron James. James Harden and Russell Westbrook. So, let's just start with LeBron. LeBron right now is averaging 23.5 points, 8.2 rebounds, and 9.5 assists. Now, that's a nice number. But, to me, with LeBron, the regular season, accolades, triple doubles, none of that matters. So, he's going to take multiple rests throughout the season. And if you haven't noticed, Kyrie Irving has been taking over the fourth quarter for multiple games. So, that means that LeBron's numbers, they're only going to decrease as he's saving himself for the postseason. So I don't think he's going to be able to average that triple-double. Now, if he wanted to, if that was like his main focus, his main goal, his focus was in championships, yeah, of course, he could he could definitely do it. He has the raw talent to do it. But in terms of circumstance and how everything is working out now, I don't think he'll be able to do it. So now let's move on to our second candidate. Our second candidate is James Harden. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm just pulling up the stats right here. I just want you to see... What James Harden is working with. James Harden, 28.3 points, 7.8 rebounds, and 12.4 assists. James Harden could very well average a triple-double through the season. But there's just one problem. James Harden is not aggressive on the boards. Out of all the candidates, he has the lowest total rebounding, you know, at 7.8. And that's not going to cut it. If you want to get triple-doubles, rebound is important. It's very key. And you need to do it. You need you need to be consistent with it. Harden has a problem with consistency in terms of the rebounding area. Scoring-wise, he can do it all day, every day. He gets to the line like 10 times, 11 times per game. Assist-wise, he's averaging 12 assists. So that, that's not a problem for him. It's just the rebounding. Plus, if you think about the team that he has around him, he has Nene in the paint, Sam Decker. He has um, Capella, Clint Capella. So, therefore... Him getting a, a double-digit rebounds is not in the works. He can't. He can't average that. He can't average that. But I mean, hey, 28.3, 7.8 8 rebounds and 12.4 assists. That's a hell of a job. And then finally, we're moving on to our last candidate, Russell Westbrook. Now I'm just pulling up the Rus numbers for Russ right now. Okay, as we speak, Russell Westbrook is pretty much averaging triple double: 31.2 points, 9.9 .9 rebounds, which, which is about 10. And 11.2 assists. Now, remember what I told you about Oscar Robertson. Oscar Robertson essentially averaged multiple seasons with triple doubles. But, see, back in the day, 9.9 .9 .9 rebounds, they'll be like, no, that's not, that's not 10. So, we're not, you're not uh, a triple double right there. So, Russ is the only guy I foresee who, this season, if he puts his mind to it, he can actually average a triple double. Okay? Now, I'm going to tell you why. The number one thing about the Thunder is this. They lost their scoring with Kevin Durant, so they lost a superstar. So Russ essentially stepped up, and he elevated his game. He elevated his game scoring. He elevated his game passing and rebounding. He complete, his rebounding is off the charts. When you average, you're a guard and you're averaging 9.9 .9 rebounds a game, it's ridiculous. On a team where you have Steven Adams, you have Ennis Cantor, and you have... um. Who else did they have? They had the guy coming off the bench. I can't remember his name right off the top, but Nick Collison, I think. You have strong rebounders, guys that could board the ball, and your guard is averaging 9.9 .9 rebounds. That says a lot about that guard. It says a whole a whole heck of a lot. And the thing about the Thunder, it's a perfect storm for Westbrook to average that triple-double due to the fact that every time everybody gets the ball, they just give it to Russ. <laughs> So there you go. He, he has the opportunity to score at all times. Opportunity to make assists at all times. Only thing he has to work really hard for is the rebounding. And the rebounding doesn't come hard for Russ because he's so athletic. He's, he's boarding balls, getting offensive rebounds. It's crazy. 
So out of all three, three players behind LeBron James, out of James Harden and Russell Westbrook, Russell Westbrook is the only guy that I foresee can get that triple-double for the entire season. And another thing about this, uh, they were talking about uh, playoff, not playoffs, but MVP uh, winners and who they foresee as the favorite. And they said LeBron James, they see him as the favorite. I don't think so. That If you were to win the MVP off of this season and you got a guy that's averaging a triple-double in Russell Westbrook, I think that's criminal. The only thing you could t possibly tell me is this, that LeBron's team has a better record. But why do they have a better record? Because they're a better team. Like it's, 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 It doesn't have anything to do with, with the individual play. Because right now, as we speak, Russell Westbrook is the NBA MVP. I mean, hands, hands down. He has six triple-doubles this season. He's averaging a triple-doubles triple, triple doubles this season. And he has his team sitting at 10-8. and eight. And what's sad for me about Russ is this. He might be one of the first MVPs to be like on a horrible, horrible losing team. Because if you think about it, the last 10 games for the Thunder, they were at 4 and 6. If they can continue that trend in, in 10 games, going 4 and 6, 4 and 6, they have a losing season. And for Russ to even keep his team competitive, and for them to be at the 6th seed right now, and let's just say he still continues to average these triple doubles and they win more games, if he alone, single-handedly, keeps the Thunder in the playoffs, not only is he the MVP, this will be the one of the most impressive things. And he'll be like the MVP on a like a super mediocre team. Like he'll be the first to do it since like I think LeBron did it in 07. He'll, he'll be the first to do it since Allen Iverson in 2001. When he took that awful, 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 awful Sixers team to the NBA Finals. So you gotta tip your cap to Westbrook. But out of all three. Westbrook is the guy that averaged that triple-double. This is Vlad from Hoops Junction, where Hoops meets Hoopla. Peace.